Hi, in this video, I will give you an introduction to Omega365 core technology platform, including the new data structure called Scope Items. Scope Items is a new data structure which unifies workloads, activities, and meetings. So our core data structures are now the org units, which represents the company organization's units, such as the departments, projects, and contracts. The scope items, which is the scope of work and follow-up items. And it can also be used to define your own registers and processes. We'll come back to this later in this video. The asset structure, which is a digital twin of the product to be built or to maintain or operate. And in addition, we have the document register. With Omega365 core technology platform, the performance and scalability have had a lot of focus. Being able to find the data quickly is of course important. So when I write the plan here, for example, you can see the result is quickly shown. And when I filter with this distinct list, the options here are quickly shown. Our system uh, needs to handle huge amounts of data. Here I have the document register and I have more than 600,000 uh, documents. I can still get the results from my search uh, quickly. Our data grid has been through several improvements. One thing is that when you scroll down in the data set now, you, you can see that the data is loaded as you scroll down. There's no need for paging. You can easily move around the column headers and when you do changes, it's easy to change, save these changes. So if I go to the layout section here, I can save this as a new layout if I want to. Uh, and uh, if I do any changes to it, let's say I want to have step there, you can see it's indicated here that there's a change, click on it and it's saved. I can switch between the different layouts easily by selecting it from my layouts here and also layouts that have been published that I have access to. Also, the context behavior has been improved. The, when I select context, the data is limited so that it will only show the data within that context. Before it was only considering the org unit that the data belonged to, but now it's also considering which org units the data have been shared with. So in this case, we have this bug that uh, is now handled by this team. This is not part of uh, the organization structure under uh, CTP prod, but it's still appearing because it's been shared with an org unit that belongs to this. We do have a general skyline component it, Skyline is a nice way of showing tasks and uh, activities in a timeline. You have the weeks here in this case as columns and then we have the activities or scope items in this case as cards. And as, as I scroll over here the data is loaded on demand. And this is a general component so it can be used also for other registers. Meetings have been through several improvements. We now uh, have more focus on the selected agenda items. So in this case, I selected this agenda item and you can see it here. If I click up here, it's uh, collapsing the other sections. It's also easier to set up uh, meeting series. And also here in the agenda, I can move around uh, easily the different agenda items with just drag and drop. When it comes to activities, we've also done some important improvements. An activity can now consist of uh, multiple sections. And again, you can see that's easy to, uh, to drag and drop the different sections here. And each section can be then run in parallel. So you can have checklists in, within each section, like in this case, and they can be executed in parallel. The signing in this case, which has been set up for this type of activity, is then for the whole activity. When implementing Omega365 for different types of clients, there is typically a need for making custom defined fields. We call it system properties, like we have in this case, uh, some properties that we have assigned to the risk register. So in this case, our client can choose to include these properties and it's easy for the client to add them and tie it to the risk register. So that when I go to the risk register, I will see these properties being added here and it's also appearing in the grid. 
With Omega 365 Core Technology Platform, we also introduce system registers where our clients can configure their own register. A register consists of one or more processes, like we have here, non-conformities, which consists of these two processes. Uh, onboardings, for example, consists of these processes internally in Omega. And it will appear in the menu, so when I go onboardings, I will find it here, I will find uh, uh, non-conformities, and then it will open up the register showing all the non-conformities as defined in the configuration of the non-conformities register. We do also have our own Gantt component now, so when I access this uh, schedule, I will see that we are using our own component to show it in the Gantt view, and uh, to, that's something that we had to develop to ensure that it uh, meets the performance requirements and scalability requirements that we have. As you can see here, just like with the uh, grid that I showed you, when you scroll down, it will load the data on demand.